The massive Inazuma region has some amazing rewards, and these are 10 awesome secrets you could be missing out on. Destruction of property has been a lifelong design in RPG games, and Genshin doesn't shy away when it comes to it, seeing how you can unravel one of the secrets on a small island. Now, this island is easy to find because it's exactly where the talent level up domain is located at, and what you want to do is look for these pots or jars, however you call them, which are distributed all over the place. You'll find them on the ground, on cliffs, and even in some weird places, so just keep looking for them and breaking on first sight, because once you're done with all of this destruction, you will see a special message pop up that says, Enemy reinforcements have arrived and you'll find a lone samurai waiting for you. Defeat the samurai and claim the luxurious chest award, which hopefully has some useful materials for you. Now one thing to keep in mind about the jars and pots is that you don't necessarily need to break all of them, or at least that was the case when completing this secret, but it's possible there's a small leeway you're given, but just to be safe, you can use elemental sight and spot them more easily. Sometimes, when you complete a quest, new things become available that aren't as clear as removing a massive barrier from an island, and this time around, during your travels you'll meet this pharmacist on a cliff near Fort Fujito, and his request is a pretty simple one. Give him 12 Naku weeds and it's pretty much a job well done, except you can now actually go and visit his house once per day and to find it, all you need to do is teleport to this Statue of the Seven and from there, just make your way across the gorge and behind a small hill, you'll find the house where you can interact with the bucket the pharmacist left for you you, or you can deposit additional 12 Naku weeds that won't have an immediate effect, and instead you will need to wait for the server to reset the next day, and you can then come and claim the exquisite chest. Now what's even cooler is that you can even repeat this again, although it's not clear when does it end, but as long as you have 12 weeds sitting in your backpack, it's a nice way to make a few primo gems and get more materials. Now as for the plant itself, you can use third party tools or the official interactive map by Mihoyo, which you can find links in the description, and then locate these Naku weeds. Just just keep in mind they don't have a specific location, sometimes they are on the ground, sometimes on the cliffs, but if you want to get 5 of them hassle free, you can go to the Inazuma City Merchant, which is directly across from the teleportation point, and purchase them for 5000 more, which of course implies you have the money and no patience when it comes to gathering these plants. But that's basically it, just stock up on this specific material and don't forget to visit the bucket daily to claim a chest and see for how long you can continue doing this. Continuing the topic of making daily visits, this next one is a pretty peculiar secret. On the final, third island, if you make your way from this teleport point and jump down, you can see in the distance a small shrine where you want to go to, and there you will find a mysterious samurai that suggests you should pray three times in a row. So all you need to do is interact with the shrine until you see three of these floating sparks. Now this isn't actually the end, because what you'll want to do is come back and visit the shrine the next day if you read the dialogue closely, because you'll need to pray again and this will continue on for a few times until you will reveal a special scene with the samurai and something will happen afterwards. Now it's important to note that this works exactly the same as with the pharmacist mentioned previously where you interact with the shrine three times and then wait for the next day's server reset to come back and continue what you started and just to be safe make sure after praying to exhaust all the dialogue options with the samurai so that it counts your activity for the day but other than that just add this to your daily schedule and see for your yourself the end of this enlightenment journey. This next one is going to test your treasure hunting instincts, because we are going to be looking for some notes that tells us about a chest, which can only be obtained at a very specific location in a very specific way. First, you'll want to find these notes, which are going to be a total of 4 of them, and they are all located on the third final island of Inazuma. The first one is easy enough to find, just go to this location and you'll notice a small tent enveloped by the electro barrier you've probably encountered many times by now, but unlike the usual way of using electro grana to pass through, you need to solve this puzzle right next to the tent, which thankfully is extremely simple, so adjust the cubes facing this way and the barrier will disappear where you can then read one of the first lost texts. Next one can be found easily if you use the statue of the seven and make your way directly to the tent where the second lost text is waiting for you, and just to wrap things up more quickly, the third one is very close from the new artifact domain, while the last one is located pretty close to serpent's head location. You will probably encounter some treasure hunters near the places, so just clear them out and interact with the text. And make sure you've read these scriptures in the order shown, because the next thing you want to do is find yourself a skiff waypoint to summon the wave rider and make your way to this location, where you will find a tiny island that's not even marked on the map. Now, the massive rock you're looking at exists for a reason, because what you'll want to do is run around in this specific direction, and soon enough, 
You'll uncover a luxurious treasure chest. Hopefully you got something useful, but you can't deny it was pretty cool to see the developers making a bit of an untraditional treasure hunt from what we're used to. There's always something hidden in the starting areas of the game, and when you first arrive at Inazuma, you wouldn't even think there's actually a secret quest tucked away in this small island. Now all you have to do is just make your way from this teleport point, and soon enough you'll find a small house that's not really interesting by itself, but behind it lies a trapdoor that you can interact with, and it will lead you through a passage in another area of the small island. This will start a world quest where you first need to interact with the three objects in the camp, which soon will get followed by a cutscene and a certain encounter which you'll have to find out for yourself. Afterwards, you get rewarded with some resources, but more importantly, you can also claim extra Inazuma reputation points, so make sure to visit the commission's NPC if you're not that far away from the next level up. It seems to be that our final island is just full of secrets, because this next one is going to take a while to solve, but you've probably noticed in some locations, there's an electrified sword hilt stuck on the ground that blasts a thunder at you if you bother interacting with it, so besides having fun with suffering, the real way to defuse this surrounding lightning would be by having an electrogranum on you, and then interacting with the sword, which will then spawn a samurai, and once you've beaten them, a common treasure chest will spawn. And the reason why this is a bit of a longer secret is that there's a total of 10 of these sword hilts distributed all over the third island, so without wasting too much time showing each location, you can just consult the map here and locate the remaining hilts. And after you're finally done removing the lightning from swords and beating the samurais, you'll unlock a secret achievement called Rest in Peace. So while nothing exciting in terms of rewards, at least from the description of the achievement, you should feel good for helping out these samurais by releasing them from the curse. Either way, that's basically 10 common chests and one achievement, so you're getting some primo gems out of this as well. If digging for treasure is what you're up for, then there's have been some community effort put in and four of these locations have been discovered. And the first one can be found at Fort Mume, because there's a destroyed structure which you can step inside in and find a common chest waiting for you after some digging. But for more exciting chests, you can find two of them near Inazuma City on an island located to the west. Just make your way from there by gliding or using Wave Rider. The first chest is on the coast at this very specific location, so just dig it up and continue onwards, while the other one is right next to the lavender melon tree that's easy to spot and yields another exquisite chest. Finally, the last one can be found near the sacred sakura tree location. Just descend from this teleportation point and you'll see a small shrine area that's guarded by a mirror maiden, which you'll probably want to take care of to have a moment of peace, because unlike other places, you also need to use the special memento lens gadget that you can unlock by completing the world quest called the sacred sakura cleansing ritual. Just like with most updates, Mihoyo decides to add some hidden achievements you won't find in the menu, and one of them involves defeating the primo Geo Bishop without reflecting his primordial shower, which basically means not using a shield when he aims the powerful attack at you. After fighting so many enemies, discovering rarely placed hidden treasures and many other things, at the end of the day, some simple to find chest locations is all that we need to take a rest from all that secret and treasure hunting. So all you have to do is do some climbing on the Inazuma city rooftops, and on the very last building, you can glide your way towards it and find the precious chest waiting for you, which coincidentally is pretty close to the oculi you should be seeing on the minimap. This last one is basically the best reward you can get and harkens back to the time when Liyue Bank was known for its massive Mora chest you can find. So with no exceptions but a slight decrease in the amount of Mora you get, you can find the similar chest in the tea house that's run by the cutest businessman known to world and all you need to do is run to the room behind him and find a chest waiting for you that gives away 180,000 Mora. Now if only we could find more of these chests then maybe maxing out those talents wouldn't be such a bother. Hope you enjoyed watching this video and discovered at least one new secret. Making these kinds of videos takes a lot of time and resources, so if you would like to help out the channel, make sure to subscribe with notifications on, as well as don't forget to gently press the like button. For more Genshin stuff, you can follow the channel on Twitter, link in the description. Thanks for watching till the end, and see you soon.